Hello viewers. Today uh, we will discuss the topic bacterial transformation. What is transformation actually? When the genetic material from a cell is transferred to another cell or DNA from one bacteria is transferred to another bacteria then some of the properties are also transferred from former to later. It means for the characterization DNA or its genetic material is responsible and it is said that one type of bacteria is transformed into another type of bacteria but this transformation will be possible only when the genetic material is transferred from one type of bacteria to another type of bacteria this process of bacterial transformation it was uh, proved by scientist s f griffith by his experiment griffith worked on a bacteria and that bacteria was streptococcus pneumoniae. There are two strains of this bacteria. One S-type bacteria and another strain is R-type bacteria. S-type bacteria have capsules whereas R-type bacteria they do not have capsule. S-type bacteria is pathogenic means S-type bacteria is able to cause disease. Whereas R type bacteria are non pathogenic, means R type of bacteria are not able to cause disease. So, when Griffith injected S type bacteria in a mouse, then mouse dead. Why? Because S type bacteria is pathogenic and it causes pneumonia in mouse, and because of the disease, mouse become dead. In another experiment, Griffith injected R type of bacteria in another mouse but mouse remained alive. It means R type bacteria were not able to cause disease. It means R type bacteria non pathogenic, S type bacteria are pathogenic. In another experiment, Griffith heat killed S type bacteria means at high temperature he killed the bacteria S type bacteria S type bacteria is pathogenic but when the bacteria was heat killed and injected in mouse then mouse remained alive it means there was no disease so this S type bacteria which is pathogenic but because it is heat killed so it is not able it, it was not able to cause disease so uh, mouse remained alive in fourth experiment Griffith took a mixture of heat killed S type bacteria and living R type bacteria. S type bacteria are pathogenic but they are heat killed. R type bacteria are living but they are non pathogenic. But when these two are taken in combination and injected in mouse, then there was death of mouse. It means uh, this combination cause disease and when uh, this dead mouse was studied when dead mouse was studied then in the blood of that dead mouse living S type bacteria were observed bacteria injected S type bacteria injected in the body of mouse were heat killed but after death in the body of dead mouse living S type bacteria were seen. How is it possible? Actually these heat killed S type bacteria they transformed they transferred their genetic material in living R type strain. After the transfer of genetic material in living R type strain R type strain changed into S type strain. And because S type strain is pathogenic, so that S type bacteria cause disease. So, in this combination, in this experiment, there was transformation of living R type bacteria into S type bacteria, but it could be possible only after the transfer of genetic material. 
right so in this way uh, griffith proved bacterial transformation but what was the nature what was the biochemical nature of transfer uh, that genetic material uh, griffith called it transforming principle he didn't give the term dna or anything else he simply said that something is transferred transforming principle is transferred transformation principle is transferred from s type to r type but what was the biochemical nature of that transforming principle he could not explain later on <coughs> sorry uh, these three scientists ot every macleod and mccarty they proved the biochemical nature of transforming principle they conducted the experiment in the absence of proteins in the absence of rna in the absence of dna in the system in the experiment proteins were removed by the addition of protease enzyme so when proteins were removed the process of transformation took place means in the absence of protein transformation is there it means proteins are not transforming principle then they give the treatment of rna enzyme rna enzyme digest all rna remove all the rna and even in the absence of rna transformation took place it means rna is also not the transforming principle but when they added dna enzyme so dna enzyme digest all the dna remove all the dna uh, from the system and in the absence of dna when dna is absent then there was no transformation in the absence of dna no transformation was there it means the molecule the substance responsible for transformation in this bacteria it was dna so that biochemical nature of transforming principle it was proved dna by these three scientists okay thank you